Three years ago, I consented to Trivia War, a game in which you battle amongst your friends to see who is the trivia champion. I prototyped in Unity and Solar 2D, but it never felt right and the project was abandoned. Six weeks ago, I completely restarted development in Lua and Love 2D, an engine that I have zero experience with. Let's talk about it. If you aren't already aware, my name is Tez Fraser. I'm a game dev and content creator. And on this channel, we talk about everything tech news, game development, and even art. So please make sure to like this video and subscribe to appease the YouTube gods and encourage my continued transparency in my game dev journey. If you asked me two months ago about Trivia War, I say, yeah, that's a game I wanna make one day, but you know, it's dead. So before I tell you where we are now, let me tell you where we left off. I was fumbling around Unity. I barely had a prototype. I could show questions and answers, but it was basically just a boring single player trivia game without a win or lose state. Might as well have been flashcards if I'm being honest with you. I was losing interest in the project pretty fast, so I shelved it. That brings us to six weeks ago. I had a weekend vacation and a spa day. I was actually neck deep in two other development projects, memory match on the Thumby, and a secret other game in yet another game engine. But here's the thing about being a game dev. You're kind of always on. You're always thinking about the next thing. So here I was in the spa room with nothing but my own thoughts. And my mind starts racing. Every single project I've talked about or worked on in the last five years starts racing through my mind. And immediately I thought, what if we revisited Trivia War, but I scaled down a less ambitious game, less questions, less categories, less features, and an HIO release. We're not even gonna consider Steam. Spoiler alert. That didn't happen. In comes Love 2D. If you don't know what Bellatro is, you are literally not on the internet at all. And this is a dangerous place for you, so shoot. I'm just kidding. Please don't click off. <laughs> for those of you that happen to be familiar with the biggest indie game in years, it's written in Love 2D, and I thought that was really impressive. I've made games in Lua pretty much my entire game dev career, but never outside of Solar 2D, and Love 2D uses Lua. I started watching Chalagade on YouTube, who's working on a really cool game called Moonshire, also in Love 2D. And I'll be honest, I got the bug. All of a sudden, I'm experimenting in three different engines in two different languages all at once. And I get to thinking, why don't I just prototype Trivia War? Since it was fresh in my head. You know, it was like, oh, let's get the question database built in. And then I could draw questions and answers. How about a player join screen? Little by little, I was building the whole game. And before I knew it, my prototype was taking shape. Don't get me wrong, there were plenty of issues. I realized that the game needed the ability to be played solo. So I wrote AI to play against you. That would do all kinds of wacky things at first, like attack players that were already dead <laughs> because I wrote it badly. And eventually I had to write the AI to be smart enough to play the entire game by itself, like beginning to end, all arounds. I learned many years ago, letting the game play itself is actually one of the best ways to find bugs. And bugs I did find. <laughs> I had such a hard time with rotations. First, it was too many rotations, and then eventually it was the entire screen was rotating instead of the one thing that I wanted to rotate. But slowly and surely, I made progress. I added better graphics and more juice. I fixed bugs, which brings us to where we are now. I'm 92.34568% done in the game. And when I was 60% done in the game, I play tested with some friends. And they hyped me up to the point that I'm actually going to launch the game on Steam, which feels Nuts. <laughs> I did not think Trivia War of all games was going to be my first Steam release, but I whipped up a Steam page in literally under 24 hours, which if you've seen any of my early videos, the last time I did that, it took me a month. It's been submitted and reviewed, and Trivia War is now officially wishlistable on Steam, so please go wishlist it. Even if you don't plan to buy the game or you have no interest in playing it. If you're not aware, wishlist help with your visibility on Steam, and considering that I somehow had an under two month turnaround for this game, I very obviously have not built up my wishlist. Now, if you're wondering why I'm rushing this, there is a Steam festival coming up, and it's for games exactly like mine. Couch co-op slash local multi player. It felt like fate. It felt like destiny. I just knew that I have to get this game out in time for it. So the game will launch at its earliest February 6th and at its latest sometime during the festival, given that it passes Steam review. Now, I know you heard me talking about the game being 92.34568% done. So you must be wondering, what's left to do? Mouse input. So I designed this game to be completely navigable with just your keyboard and no mouse. And I wrote the UI so poorly 
because this was a prototype, that to implement mouse input, I actually need to make sure that all the UI elements are stationary, that they're completely done and there won't be additional changes. So mouse input has to be pretty much the last thing I do. Juicing. If you don't know what I'm referring to, I'm talking about transitions. I'm talking about audio. I'm talking about scaling things up and down. All the things that make games feel good, I need to add more of. Very rarely can you overduce a game, so I definitely just need to keep adding as much as I can think of. Localization. This one is actually nice. 98% done. There are a handful of phrases left, and thankfully, I have a team of friends helping me to cross that finish line. And finally, player animation slash avatars. I am tried to get this done earlier, but I just can't find an artist in a reasonable budget or that can work within my time frame. That's totally on me. I'm an indie studio, so developing this game is literally coming out of my pockets, and I'm the one who wants to release in two weeks. So either I find someone extremely last minute, or I lock in and make them myself, which I've been trying to do and haven't loved it, so uh, guess we'll see what happens there. <laughs> After those things, I'm basically done. The game has been playable from beginning to end for weeks at this point, so it's really just about polish. So the next time you see me on this channel, it will likely be to tell you that Trivia War is released, and that you should buy it because I poured my blood, heart, sweat, and tears into it. But until then, I ask of you two things. Please go wishlist Trivia War on Steam, the link's in the bio, and two, please like and subscribe. These videos are my way of bringing exposure and transparency into the life of game dev and actually making and releasing video games. So through the support of subscribers, likes, and wish lists, I can continue to do so and grow my channel and work into so much more. Anyways, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think of Trivia War and my whole mad dash to get the game out in a few weeks. Am I crazy? Do you have faith in me? Have you ever given yourself an impossible deadline? Let me know in the comments. My name is Tez Fraser, and I'll see you in the next one.